Hey viewers, Michael Warren here from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's learn how to play I'd Do Anything For Love on Guitar by Meatloaf. And this is a great song with lots of different parts and we'll be doing the seven minute version. Now this one's for intermediate players and we'll be playing all the piano parts on guitar and we'll also do all the guitar parts and look at the solo at the end. Remember, if you're having any problems with the song, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you and let me know how you go with this one. Now, if you enjoyed this lesson, like and subscribe. Songs uploaded weekly. So let's get into it. So for the intro, we're going to start on this A7 sus4. We're going to put the G on the high E string. So we're playing 2nd fret on the D, 2nd fret on the G, 3rd fret on the B and the 3rd fret on the G. And we play that once. And then we go to this a sus4 add 13 so we're just still keeping the second fret d second fret g third fret b but we're going to the second fret on the e and then just an a sus4 so just take your finger off we've got second fret second fret third fret and open and we do that two times and we're going to be using these chords a fair bit throughout the song so slowly we have then add the 13 on again and back to the 7 sus4, back to the 13, and then finish on the sus4 there. And we do that through 10 times. So let me do that slowly for you first. through then 10 times and then to finish off we do the start again the same on the A7 sus4 to uh, one time there back to the add 13 back to our A7 sus4 two times then the add 13 two times sus4 two times add 13 two times and then the A7 sus4 three times and we're slowing down there And that's our intro there. So let me play that first line a few times through and then add that ending onto the intro. We'll also have a look at the heavy guitar there as well, what it's doing. our intro there and we're going to use that A7 sus4 with the high G, the A sus4 with the add 13 and just the A sus4 as well. We're going to use those a fair bit throughout the song. So let's have a look at what the heavy guitar is doing as well. So for the intro, a heavy guitar is going to start on a G power chord, so 3rd fret on the E, 5 on the A and the D, play that once. Then just go back to the 2nd fret on the E, still the 5 on the A and the D once. And then come up to the A5 power chord, 5th fret on the E string, 7th fret on the D and the G, and play that and slide back. And we just do that through two times, so slowly. And again up to speed so that's pretty easy there and that's all the heavy guitar is doing on the intro so now let's have a look at the chorus after that so straight over our intro we go into the chorus and he sings I will do anything and that's when we hit our D one strum G D and go to an A sus4 there just one strum on all of those and then our A sus4 or A7 sus4 with that high G two times now add 13 back to just A sus4 two times and then D two times so that little part there and then just finish that on A and we're just one strum but just strum to the B string and then G. And again, just strum to the G string there. So let me play that first part for you. Then from there we go to an A again. We're gonna play an A. And then we're gonna do our add 13 with the sus4 once. And then the A7 with our sus4 there. 
that's just a little run up there. And then back to our D, G, D, A sus4 to our fill the same. And then A, G. And that's the first part of the chorus. Let me play that all the way through for you there. And then from there, we're just going to a B minor. We're going to hold that for a bar. So we're just doing it down, down, up, up, down there. So down, down, up, up, down, up to an F sharp minor. So we've got the second fret on the E string, fourth fret on the A and the D, second fret on the G, B and E. And we're going to do half a bar there, or a three count. And then we're going to go to an F sharp minor 7 over E there just for one strum. So we're going to have the open E string, 4th fret on the A, 2nd fret on the D, G, B and E. One strum there and then just to our G chord for a bar. 3, 4 and to our A. Now we're going to put that little fill in again. We have the A, the add 13 and the A7 sus4 there. And then we go back to the D, G, D, A sus4 and our little run again. Now that time the run is starting on the A sus4, adding the 13 to the sus4 and then going to the A7 sus4. And we do that through two times. D, Finish it, D, G, D, A7, we're going to add the 13, sorry, A sus4, add the 13, just the A sus4, and then G, and A. And that's our chorus there, so let me play that second part of the chorus for you from the B minor. chorus and then from there we go into the heavy guitar so let's have a look at that now so straight after our chorus we go into the heavy guitar and we're just going to do a D5 power chord so open D string second fret on the G third on the B we're going to hold for two bars three four one two three four do it again hold for one bar and put a slide in two three four one two three four and then play it again hold for a bar three four then go to our G power chord, third fret on the A, fifth on the, sorry, third fret on the E, fifth fret on the A and D, and then just play an A power chord, open A string, second fret on the D and the G. So that's pretty easy there. Let's do that up to speed. play the chords it's just B minor for a bar, G for a bar, E minor for a bar there and then to D for a bar and we do that two times. The guitar is actually playing the second fret on the A string, then we have the fifth fret on the D, then play the fifth again and slide back to the second and then just slide up to the fifth on the A string. We do that two times, so second fret. and then we have this clean guitar there so let's have a look at that now but the next part we have a G chord we're just gonna play the top E string third fret open G string third fret E third fret B so. then go to the D play the open D string second fret on the G second fret on the E third fret on the B 
Then we're going to a B minor, second fret on the A, fourth fret on the D, third fret on the B, fourth fret on the G, and then finish that on an A chord, open A string, second fret on the D, second fret on the B, second fret on the G. And we do that through two times, so nothing too hard, just some arpeggio picking. So let me play that for you. back into a heavy guitar so let's have a look at that. So the heavy guitar we're just starting on an E pair we'll call it open E string second fret on the A and the D for an hold for two bars and then we're coming up to the fourth fret on the A still play the open E again two bars and then just move up to the fifth fret on the A open E and then we're going to do this little run to finish that off and go back into the chorus we have E string five three two and do that three times. So five, three, two, five, five, three, two, and then to finish off, five, three on the E string, and then on the A string, two, four. And that's the end of the verse here, so let me play that for you. So the second chorus is slightly different, but not much. We still have our D, G, D, A sus4, and we're gonna do the run the same with the A7 sus4, D, and A, G. Now this time the heavy guitar, I'm not gonna worry about picking it up, because it's only just playing the A power chord and the G power chord when we play the A and the G. And then we do that little run up again, the same as we did in the first chorus. And then D, G, D, A, sus4, our little run down. And our A, D, and again the heavy, sorry, A, G. And then again our heavy guitar just plays the A and the G there. So let me play. no guitar we could just do the chords the same as we did our B minor our F sharp minor the G and the A we don't actually play there and the heavy guitar just slides from the third fret up to the seventh fret on the E string and then to finish that chorus off we just go back to a D G D A sus4 add 13 A sus4 G 2 3 4 and A 2 our second chorus there. So hopefully this is all making sense. We've got lots of little fill chords in there. From there we go back to the heavy guitar. So let's have a look at that. So our heavy guitar kicks back in again. We're just playing the D. So fifth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the D and the G. We're just playing that there. Two, three, play it again. And then play the open A string with the seventh fret D and the G. And then come back to our B power chord, second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D and the G. Four, one, two, and then second fret A, open A, and then to our G power chord, and then just back to the A power chord two times. So nothing too hard there, we play that through two times, so let me do that for you. Again, we go the second fret on the A string, and then the third fret on the E string, and then we're doing a little one down, E string, three, two, low, then 
back to the A string, two, four, five, and then we're going to do three, slide to five on the A string, and then play the second fret on the A string, and then B string, five, three, and then we've got the end, and we did something similar there, so let me just play that part for you now. Guitar, and we've done this before. We just do the G, D, B minor, and A with our arpeggio picking like we did before. And now A, and do that again. Do that through two times, and then we go back to the heavy guitar, which we did before as well. So let's quickly run over that. So again, we've done this part before. We just do our E, our open, our four, our open, our five, and our little run down again. And our run up. And that's the end of that next verse. So quickly, we'll play through that. From there we stay on the heavy guitar, so let's have a look at this next part. We're just going to play a D power chord, a G, D, and then A, hold for 4, and then back to the D, and do a slide, and then A, G, so slowly. Nothing too hard there. Now from there we're going to slide up to the ninth fret on the D string. It's really starting to fade in so you can turn your volume down and then your 7th fret and then back to 5th fret on the D string and then we go back, turn your volume back up, this time we just play the D, G, A, and then again, D, G, this time we're going to the E power chord and then do the D, G, A, and then we just play the 3rd fret on the E string there. So let me just play that part through from the nine coming on. solo and again we've done this before the D, D, open A, back to the B, now the one down to O, G, and A two times. And we do that through two times and then to finish that off we play the D again, D again, open with the sevens, B, two, O, and just finish on the G and then the A. And that's our solo there, and we'll look at that at the end. So let me quickly play that through for you now. Seven over E, and then our G, hold for R, and then 
I for a bomb. So again, we've done that bit before. We're just doing one strum on each this time. We're going to the end of the song, we're going to do our chorus again. D, G, D, A sus4, do our add 13, back to our A sus4, G for a bar, and A for a bar. So. Now we have the second singer coming in, the female singer, and we're just doing our D. Sus4 and we're doing our add 13 back to our A sus4 and we do that through two times. And then we go to our D, G, D, A sus4, our add 13, our A7, or sorry, our A sus4, and then to our G, hold for a bar. Hold for a bar, and we just keep repeating that whole section through to the end. So let's play that a couple of times here. And then just repeat that all again, and then to finish, we can come to this. C shaped D. So we're just playing the fifth fret on the A string, the fourth on the D, the second on the G, the third on the B, and the second on the E. And that finishes on the D there. So there are all the rhythm parts of the song. Let's have a quick look at the solo. It's nothing too hard there. So for our solo, we're going to start on 15 on the B string, then 14 on the G. And then 12 on the B, 14 on the D, 11 on the G, 14 on the G, back to 12 on the D. Then we're going to do a bend on 17 B, and then play 17 E there. So that first part. And from there we just play the 15 on the B again, play 17 on the B and we're going to do a bend and then 17 E and then just do bend on 17 again, B, do it again. Then the last time we're going to do another bend, we're going to do a tone and a half bend there on the 17 B and then just play 17 E there. So we have and that's our solo, let me play it all the way through for you. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.